This knee's almost even done, but bike mechanic, that's the reason why I brought it here. Had I been doing it myself, I would have been saying I've been doing it all day and I wouldn't get it right. This guy knows what he's doing. Sometimes it's better just to let the experts do it for you. Give him a little extra. And uh, that's a nice little frame he's got. Just getting the right tension. Size the chain. Yeah, even just basic changing. I mean, obviously if you do it at home, you have to have a special chain wrencher. You have to know how to use this method using the nail and the hammer. But he's done it pretty quickly. This is trade. People on Talang Road. There we go. Dinah. And the project is done now. Let's fix the chain on perfectly. We have a link if we want to adjusted ourselves for future. Oh, so something stamped off. Yeah. We simply just got to get a motor, the right size. Probably going to put it down here on our stand. Yes, just want to show the materials list here. I'm making the stand for the bicycle generator. You can see we got a drill, a few different drill bits, which we'll use to bevel out uh, a place to mount the axle of the back wheel back rim anyway, which is going to be used as a pulley system with a generator which will be attached to the back here. We also have got a Dremel and Dremel pieces. This is a rotary tool to help beveling out that top end. So we've got a lot of options of ways we can do that. And of course a tape measure. First step is to measure out the length where you want to mount these posts. These posts are going to hopefully be able to support with their braces the weight of the back wheel as long as we don't put too much weight on the back and either way it'll get us so we can mount it at least and then if we need to reinforce it with some more posts on the side I'll have to get a jigsaw or some kind of proper saw to cut perfect angled cuts in order to reinforce those posts if I need to be in the future and also we've got plenty of lumber so we can mount the motor slash generator which we're going to be using it as a generator so we Theoretically, should be getting 80% of its efficiency uh, as using it as a generator as opposed to a motor. So we get, mathematically speaking, if we get a 100 watt uh, motor, we can take mathematically, theoretically, get 80 watts. But we'll have to see. That'll be a lot of trial and experiment. So that's slowly update. but surely we're getting there. I'm um, just mounting it temporarily. I, I still have to yet finish beveling out uh, little ports for those um, axle bolts there. And um, obviously we still have to get our battery and our, we already have a charge controller we're gonna use and our the motor. We have to choose a motor, a proper DC, DC 24 volt motor. And that will probably be there. I'll probably have to stabilize the front wheel to stabilize that but better. But we're getting there slowly but surely. And we will soon have um, an energy recovery generator. Bicycle powered, human powered generator really short order the bicycle generator project is coming right along got the proper sized wheel chain and stand sorted out a balancing stand there with the drive belt attached and now on to the next important part is mounting the motor and the motor that I am using for these uh, trial experiments anyway for this period is that 12 volt fan which actually we um, tested it out yesterday with my kid on board and I had him pedal and see how much uh, we could we could um, spin on it just with the me holding the the motor and he was able to get up to I saw up to 17 18 watts up to um, 1.5 almost 2 amps just from him, from him pedaling so that means that we could uh, generate up to 20 to 30 watts with just this little fan motor, this DC fan that I took apart. doesn't need any rewiring because it's already DC. Uh, but as you see right now, we've got this wood here with some uh, glue. I try to put some marine grade uh, epoxy yeah, just to mount the motor there onto that piece of wood so I can mount it onto the back there to keep it stationary because there's no mounting brackets on this um, fan motor. I mean, I might have to buy some special bracket or brackets because uh, I don't think the, the glue is going to hold. But I'm trying one more thing, I'm trying one more um, uh, 
solution. This stuff, you gotta put it on each uh, surface for 15 minutes, which is right about up any minute soon, and then you put them together and just keep them pressed, and I'll keep them pressed for the day as I go to work, and I'll come back and I'll test its strength, but chances are, plastic and wood, uh, it, it's not gonna stick enough to, it'll stick it enough to hold, but when I put the, the tension on it, when it's being pulled by the drive belt over there, it's um, probably not going to work so good, so we're going to have to come up with a better solution. Maybe super glue or wood glue would probably do a lot better than all of these little um, plastic epoxy uh, adhesives, these contact adhesives. The last one I did was marine grade, and super strength marine grade epoxy, mix them together and it stunk real bad. And I did exactly as in person instructions, but it wasn't strong enough to hold this mounted fan onto the piece of wood. Uh, taking the tension of the bicycle generator and then once we get the motor generated we'll hook it directly up to the back of this solar charge controller I've seen on a video I had this exact same model where it's already got the built-in blocking diodes which is the main component you need as far as electrical circuits are concerned so yeah positive negative there will go to the battery um, the correct leads from the the motor, because remember it's a motor, we're using it as a generator, so we'll have to reverse the usual leads onto um, where it's the solar panel there. And that'll take these erratic spiked currents that I'm able to generate from turning, spinning the motor into a regulated charge. And hopefully, we should be able to get that 12 volt, volt, volt motor just high enough um, past 13, 14 volts to activate this and to charge our little 12 volt battery. Um, if not, simply use the USB or the, any of these other um, outputs. We got 3 volts, 6 volts, 9 volts, and of course 12 volts. And it has our voltage. Quick update well. here. For several days tinkering around with it here and there. And finally uh, settling on this uh, semi permanent. Design semi permanent, it all comes to, uh, together. I can lift that motor right out of there and um, do something else with it, I'll move it, adjust it. The only permanent, really, thing I got going on with the motor mount is these brackets, these 90 degree brackets on the edge, just to keep that um, mounting board there stable when it pedals. So I can take the force. But yeah. The bicycle itself here, the bicycle mount stand here. This is not the most sturdiest. Um, and it, it could it's fall off. It's not permanently set in there. But I, I reckon I can... It uh, it holds my weight anyway. It holds my kid's weight. And uh, it wouldn't hurt to reinforce that with some, some beams there. Some reinforcement poles, whatever they're called in architectural terms. Um, be at a 45 degree angle. Mounted onto the baseboard there. And uh, basically, yeah, so um, it's hooked up to the charge controller. That's a solar charge controller, but it works. It can um, detect electricity uh, from the battery and from the motor if I can break the 13 volt mark, which is possible. Just have to get it up. I'm going to do a few tests because this motor is just a 12 volt fan motor. It's 15 watts rated as a motor, and theoretically, you're only supposed to get 80 watts of that. So you're looking at, um, what is that, it's 12, 12 watts, supposed to be able to generate. Um, and yeah, the front of the bike is just normal, can't really see, and it's just pedal powered. So our gear ratio right now, that's a 20 inch rim, and that's about a one inch, one and a half inch pulley there for the motor. So yeah, that's up to 20 to one gear ratio. But yeah, that was the problem getting the motor to mount because this is a fan motor and so there's no brackets built into the housing of the fan. So we had to add our own brackets which aren't 100% sturdy. And um, after trial and error and messing around with different adhesives, epoxy, um, some special plastic adhesive, super glue even, wood glue, um, at the end of the day it couldn't hold the weight when I pedaled it, the force, because it really needs to be mounted down on brackets you know, drill down. So I did that, and when all fails with adhesives, I found that suspension cords 
they save the day off this board and it easily comes apart if I need to. I can reset it up simply by lifting this motor board here up and I can lift it right out of its bracket. We have battery load and actually charging the battery. 13 volts. Oh wow, we've gotten it to 13.1 now actually. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it works. So here we are, morning time. We're just gonna go ahead and charge her up a little bit. Then go on the bicycle, we got ready, go ahead, and slowly go, pick up speed slowly. And then, uh, yeah, keep on going, but make sure you keep the same speed. Fast, faster. Yeah, yeah, fast. Don't go so slow. Keep the same speed. Yeah, the tiniest of um, pumps. But can't go slow. Got to faster that. Do that for about five minutes. Yeah, so we're happy enough. This 12 volt motor is enough to. Um, to work this motor from a fan it comes in that fan that we took apart. There's the remaining parts of the fan there, and we put a washing machine pulley piece. We fitted that on there, and then uh, moves around. It's slipping a little bit. Got some suspension cords and brackets to keep it onto that wood that it's mounted on. So it's a temporary fix to my permit. I don't think you're going fast enough, man. You gotta go fast enough. Yeah, keep that speed, that speed, yeah. See, see, that's what we're talking about. Now it's actually working a little bit. Now we're at 12.6. Yeah, so we're gonna get a 12, a 24 volt motor. That'll be easier speed to keep a charge. Because this one, is, it, he has to go be going that fast in order for it to um, pick up enough charge to break the 13 volt mark. Once you break the 13 volt mark, it will get enough charge to um, Add on to the battery. You can see there. And then just exercise every morning, every evening when we need to charge it manually. Otherwise, we'll hook it up to the solar panel over there, the aquaponics. And it'll charge during the day when we're not here. So, is it hard? What? Is it hard? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You tired? Oh, you weak little, you've just been cycling for a little bit, man. The gym, Dad's Gym. Memberships only 999 baht per month. Anybody wants to join the gym here, we got lots of stuff to do. We got kayaking here, we'll take you down in the ocean. We got a nice little bicycle generator here. You can work out all morning, all night, and uh, burn off those carbs and pounds. Yeah. All right, let me let me take over for a little bit, man. You look like a little girl. <laughs> See, no, it's not it's not man. You're going slow, so when you go slow, it doesn't charge. Should keep the same speed for. Oh, that's it. Don't go too fast. Keep the same speed. All right. 
Alright, that's All enough right, for now. So here we are. The new motor hooked up. I've got this uh, makeshift pulley. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, and I got our model here for today, Mr. DJ here. <laughs> what are you getting off at? Okay, he's gonna pedal. All right, we're gonna do a voltage test real quick. Okay, start pedaling slowly and then speak up your speed. See what kind of voltage we get. We're getting 10, 12, 13. Stop the 15, 16 volts there. It's um, flopping along. It's not the most ideal pulley, but obviously he's got it up to 14 volts. Okay. So that was the first test, the voltage test. We got up to 14, 15 volts. Was it hard? Not too hard? You can do that for an hour, you think? <laughs> okay, next test we'll do is an amp test. So one second, let me just um, put that on hold. Swap this guy to this here. And we'll change it down to amps here and push it on hold. All right, now, same thing. Go ahead, pedal like we did just now. Ten the amps we can get. So he's only able to get here. That's all you can do. So 2.3 amps. It's hard, huh? Okay, so that's enough to do a calculation. So yeah, probably get more if we had a better pulley there. A little more tension there, but uh, that'll do for now.